Hi, in this video tutorial, we'll see like uh, uh, how to uh, how to create a function that will mix two uh, images together. We can take uh, and as, as as an example uh, in Photoshop, and let's uh, when I place this image over this one, and I will change the mix method to uh, add. As you can see, we just obtained this the black color just disappeared. Why? Because what we are doing here, we are, uh, if, I, we, if you take a look at this, if you take a look at this graphic, uh, uh, as we can see, we are, what we are doing when we mix an image over another image uh, using the add method, we are, mix, we are adding the color pixel, this color pixel from this small image to the equivalent color pixel of the main big image and we are doing this for all the pixels in here contained in this small image so like if I take uh, this pixel as an example we're just adding it to the, the its equivalent pixel from the big image which is uh, the one just below below it and every color pixel has uh, three sub elements uh, red green and blue R G B and uh, since black, uh, its sub-elements uh, R, G, B are all equal to zero, okay? So that's why the black color just disappeared, okay? And uh, so we'll be creating this function in, uh, in Unity. It will help us, you know, to, uh, how to, uh, to mix two texture to, to D together. So let's go back to our uh, unity. So to start, we need to, to create, if we are creating a, a function, it's better just to create a class in the uh, and we had to create uh, this class in the beginning. And this class, we'll call it like, for example, uh, compute bitmap. So to make sure that um, everything are kind of uh, clear uh, about what we are going uh, to do, uh, what we are going to do, actually, we are creating a function that will is going to mix every pixel from this image, every pixel. We call this image like, a, we call it like sprite. You know, just we call it sprite because it's like uh, a small, smaller image than this one. Anyhow, so we'll be mixing the pixels uh, with the, the pixels from the main image, okay? And every pixel from the small image will be added to with the equivalent uh, pixels from the main image. I hope it's clear enough. Anyhow, so let's go back to our uh, Unity. And uh, let's create our... We, so we need to create our, uh, m uh, our class that will contain this function that just will mix uh, two textures together, okay? Using the add method from uh, Photoshop. Uh, so I'll just create. We will call it like compute uh, bitmap. No, the class bitmap. And then I just open the, my C sharp script. And uh, my class won't be like a uh, derived class from a mono behavior, so I'll just delete that. And uh, I won't be using any void start or void update. And uh, okay. So I'll just create my first function. My first function will be like a public uh, function that will return a texture to the. And. Uh, since we are mixing two textures, the results are a texture 2D as well. And um, I will name it just um, bit map uh, bitmaps uh, mix or, or add mix. And uh, my method will take as uh, parameters Two uh, two textures two D since we are mixing two texture, so we need to declare them texture two D 
uh, we'll call the first one main texture and uh, a second texture 2D we'll call it like sprite uh, texture we close our parentheses curly braces Oop. we'll close it and uh, it will return for now just a no so we need to know we will be uh, we need to know like where we are placing our uh, sprite texture so if you go back to our uh, graphic so we need to know the the place where i am placing uh, the coordinate of the uh, the point where i am placing my uh, uh, sprite color my uh, sprite texture over the main texture so I need to know the, this coordinate that, that, that are calculated from this point. So this point is our z zero uh, x, zero y point, the center. Okay. And uh, so we need to know this, uh, the, the coordinate of this point. This point is the center of my, uh, represent the center of my sprite. Okay, sprite texture. So we need to know this point and also we need to know the starting point so from where I am going to mix the pixels uh, of the sprite texture with the main texture. So we need to know this point as well. Uh, very important to know like the pixels are stored like in rows arranged in this way like this one is the first pixel, this one is, uh, this one is the first pixel, this one is the second and so on and so forth like that and uh, once we arrive to this this pixel we'll just go back to this one and again the same thing okay so they are arranged like so like that like that so when you arrive at this pixel we'll go back and uh, to this point to this pixel and again like that so we need to know the coordinate of uh, this point, the, the we will call it like uh, our first point. Okay. Uh, since we are, will be giving this these coordinate, so what we need to know, uh, we need to know like the uh, um, the position of w w uh, where we are going to place our sprite. Uh, like we will call it like the center sprite. Uh, since it really rep it will represent the center of our sprite texture, this one. And uh, we need to know also the first point from where we are going to start mixing the pixels together from the sprite texture and uh, the main texture. Okay, so it will be like this point. We will call it like first point. And uh, what we know already, that we know already like the main texture width and the height the same for the sprite width and height and uh, for the center of the sprite we can note since we are going to give it we'll choose like as a, a, a an easy uh, as an easy example the center of this main texture will be uh, it will be our center point for this texture as well okay we'll start like from a uh, an easy example and then we'll make it more general later add, adding like the, the condition and stuff like that and so our center point of this uh, sprite texture will be also the center of the main texture, okay? As, an, as I said, as an easy example, okay? As an easy way to start. It will not, okay. So we need to, as, a, as I said, we need to know like uh, var, the, um, the position of our uh, center sprite x, We'll, we'll put like since in my example I'll be using like a main texture with a, that has a width of 512 and a height of 512 and uh, the sprite will have like a width of uh, 256 by 250 and a height of uh, 256 so the center would be like of uh, my uh, sprite texture would be like 256 since, we, uh, since I said I will be placing my sprite in the center of the main texture and since the main texture has a 512 by by uh, 512 so the center will be like 256 by 256 the center sprite will be placed like in 
256 by 256. Okay? So, uh, another var uh, center sprite y equal to 256 um, and uh, we'll be we know we need to know also the uh, main texture or we'll call it just main width which is the width of the main texture so we'll call it just main width is equal to ma main texture that width and the same for uh, the height main texture also the same we need to know for the sprite width which is the width of my sprite texture width var sprite height is equal to sprite texture hey okay and uh, we need to know also the we need to place actually all the color uh, color pixels from the main texture in an, uh, in a color array and the same for the sprite texture we need to place all its uh, pixels into a color pixel into a color array and we'll be doing it like so sprite i will start with the main main color main color will be our uh, our uh, color array the main color will be equal to main texture dot get get pixel will give us pixels so it's a get pixels a, it's a function that will return a color array okay of the main texture okay the same for the sprite texture so we need to know like sprite color it's color array that will contain all the pixels information from our sprite texture get pixels Okay. What else w do we need to know? So, uh, ah, yes, we need to determine the first point, the coordinate of the first point. Uh, this color pixel, we need to know its coordinate uh, f uh, from this point. Okay. Since it's a coordinate like from the sprite texture are zero zero because it's it, it is like our first pixel. Uh, but like from the uh, the main texture it has like a, a coordinate x and y that we need to know and we need to calculate it okay. it's like uh, this coordinate x for if we take like if we need to know like x the coordinate x so it will be this x minus half our of our sprite width okay so uh, I repeat, for the x coordinate, it will be like the x coordinate of the center sprite, okay, minus the the half of the width of our sprite uh, texture, half, okay. Let's see this one. So this one is our center point, and this one is our first point. So the x coordinate is uh, is uh, the x coordinate of the center point sprite minus half the width of the sprite okay and the same for the for y so var uh, first first point x is equal 
center sprite x minus uh, sprite uh, with divided by 2, half the width. Okay? And the same for uh, the, the y coordinate. First point y coordinate are equal to our center uh, point y. What the hell? Oof, I made a lot of mistakes. This one is sprite, not... Uh, center sprite not a certain point center sprite okay uh, center sprite y minus minus uh, sprite height divided by 2 okay we know our uh, the coordinate of our first point. So we can start to write our uh, loop that will draw, that will mix all the pixels from the sprite with the, the equivalent pixels of the main texture. And I forgot to uh, add something else. Actually, we need to also to have a color array that will be the result of the mixing between the main color array and the sprite color array. We will call it like a result color equal it will have the same in the beginning like to start it will have the same uh, color uh, information color array information like the the main color so just write main uh, texture get pixels okay 